tonight at the end of the road farm. So I have been using this pizza recipe for years and years and years. There used to be a website called Laney's Letters. I'm, I haven't even Googled it forever, but this was her pizza crust recipe. And I am going to put that recipe down in the description below. But I'm giving credit to Laney's Letters for it. It's not copyrighted, so I don't mind sharing. But I will tell you what it is. It is two cups of water. And I use yeast in, that comes in bulk. So I just store mine in the fridge like this. It's a lot cheaper. You can get it for about four bucks at Amazon. Uh, so two tablespoons of that. I use two tablespoons of evaporated cane juice, but you can use regular sugar, honey, or brown sugar. And I mix that together. Of course, that water is really, really warm. And when it says warm, it's actually kind of hot to the touch for a human being. But anyhow, um, I let that set for about 15 minutes. And then I add a teaspoon of salt. I add about two tablespoons of olive oil. We kind of buy that in bulk and store it in this green mason jar because we don't want the light getting to it. Um, and you put in slowly five cups of flour. I use uh, half and half King Arthur white wheat and regular all-purpose flour. Once that's mixed together, then you uh, put it in a bowl, let it rise for about half hour, depending on how much time you have. Then I set the oven for 425, ours is still going. I learned a long time ago from Domino's Pizza that the hotter the oven, the better the pizza bakes. So, Anyhow, we spread ours out. Normally we do two pans. We decided to go the quick route tonight and put it on one huge pan, sheet pan. I put oil on the bottom. We like a crisper crust. And then for tomato sauce, you're going to laugh. This is, this, there's nothing extravagant about this. I bought one of the small cans. Let me show you in here. One of these type of cans, you can get them at all these um, Food Lion, any of your local stores, Walmart. They cost about 20 cents a can. And so what I do is add salt, pepper, garlic, a little cayenne pepper, because we like ours a tad bit spicy. And then whatever ingredients you want um, on the pizza. So you spread the sauce down. Tonight we're having dry salami, cheese. I shredded my own because we didn't have any shredded. Canned mushrooms, which you always keep on the shelf just for situations like this. We had a green pepper, so we had some of that. We had some onions. We had a jar of pimento, so we're having some of those. Then I topped the whole thing with the Italian seasoning. You can mix it in with the sauce. We don't like it that way. And then I topped it with some more cheese. And so I will let this bake for about 15 minutes, and I can guarantee this is the best pizza that you've ever had. It's cheap to make. It requires really no time at all. If you make individual pizzas, we used to let the boys put on it whatever they wanted and made a bunch of individual pieces. Chris and I can have kitchen time together if we want. If not, I can throw it together in no time flat. So, give it a try. You'll like it. 347 more days to go. Yay me.